Let's get it, boys! Move over, America. These Brit flicks redefine the movie industry. <laughs> Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 British movies which change cinema forever. And the right along. Before we begin, if you enjoy this video, please subscribe for more great content. For this list, we take a look at some of the British masterpieces that have influenced cinema worldwide and forever changed the way we experience movies. It's all right, Mrs. Wilberforce. Everything's under control. Goodbye. Number 10, Doctor No. There had been attempts to bring Ian Fleming's 007 to the big screen before this, but Doctor No is the first Eon Productions effort and widely regarded as the first true Bond movie. Mr. Bond. James Bond. Introducing Sean Connery as the iconic super spy, Bond has become one of the world's most recognizable and influential film characters. What are you doing here? Looking for shells? No. I'm just looking. And ever since this historic introduction, the secret agent has battled larger-than-life villains with guns, gadgets, cars, and catchphrases to shape the series and define the spy thriller genre in general. Ahoy, Mr. Bond! Ahoy, Mr. Bond! Well, well, what's the matter? Do you need help? Number 9, Hamlet. Laurence Olivier's Hamlet still sets the benchmark for any cinematic Shakespeare adaptation. I shall in all my best obey you, madam. Why, it is a loving and a fair reply. This version of the famous play is one of the most firmly planted in popular consciousness, particularly noted for Olivia's tense rendition of the to be or not to be monologue, as well as some lavish settings and standout performances from the entire cast. The Bard still stands as inspiration for storytellers everywhere, and Olivia was a master at translating the playwright for film. A villain kills my father, and for that I, his sole son, do this same villain send to heaven. Number 8, A Hard Day's Night. The Beatles certainly changed pop music forever, and they impacted film too. Hey mister, can we have our ball back? A Hard Day's Night rewrote the boundaries between music and the movies. Your tongue away, it looks disgusting hanging out all pink and naked. One slip of the razor and... <laughs> Capturing the Beatles at the height of their fame in a whirlwind of cinematic inventiveness, Richard Lester directs an all-encompassing extravaganza, giving fresh insight on the Fab Four as they travel from Liverpool to a televised gig in London. I now declare this bridge open. Hilarious shenanigans ensue, and the soundtrack second to none. Can buy me love. Number 7, The 39 Steps Alfred Hitchcock reached the peak of his fame while working in the US thanks to classics including Rear Window and Psycho. But Hitchcock's work began in Britain, and The 39 Steps could be considered as the apex of the first half of the director's career. It's quite true, listen. They're spies, foreigners. They've murdered a woman in my flat and now they're waiting for me. Regarded as a masterpiece by the likes of Orson Welles, the edge-of-the-seat story of espionage and murder proved one of the most important and influential thrillers of the century, becoming Hitchcock's first great spy movie. The 39 Steps is an organization of spies, collecting information on behalf of the Foreign Office of... <laughs> Number 6, The Lady Killers. From famed Ealing Studios, the home of classic British comedy, comes one of the wittiest, most brilliant, and best-known productions in the genre, often described as one of the greatest British films ever made. Mrs. Wilberforce? Yes? I understand you have rooms to let. Sporting an exceptional cast, including fan favourite Alec Guinness and the legendary Peter Sellers, the Lady Killers follows the misadventures of five oddball criminals and the old lady from whom they're renting rooms by pretending to be musicians. Stop it! A laugh out loud black comedy, it has inspired countless films ever since. Darling, I am missing all. Number 5, Lawrence of Arabia. What is it, Major Lawrence, that attracts you personally to the desert? It's clean. 
This essential historical drama based on the life and writings of T.E. Lawrence, an esteemed British officer in World War I, is a first port of call for fans of British film. Good army compass. How if I take it? Then you would be a thief. David Lean, who at the time of shooting had already directed another great British war epic, The Bridge on the River Kwai, builds upon the complex man at the centre of the story with grand visuals and masterful performances from a star-studded cast. It's an epic, and then some. No prisoners! Number 4. Blow Up Michelangelo Antonioni's finest foray into British cinema makes for one of the most beautiful and unnerving films ever set in London. It's not my fault if there's no peace. You know, most girls would pay me to photograph them. A complex and challenging piece of art, with its explicit depictions of sex and drug use, this film directly contributed to the abolition of the production code in America, a set of moral guidelines for US movies which stood until 1968. Yes! 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 Charting a day in the life of a fashion photographer who believes he may have captured a murder on film, Blow Up proved counterculture perfection and remains a favourite for cinephiles worldwide. What did you see in that part? Nothing. Number 3. The Life and Death of Colonel Blimp Of all the masterclasses the Powell and Pressburger duo has given us, this was probably the most controversial, at least at the time of release. But in 1983 at least I shall be able to say that 40 years ago I was a fellow of Enterprise. Earning heavy disapproval from the 1940s UK government, which didn't understand its particular shade of patriotism, the life and death of Colonel Blimp remains an unparalleled parable on love, friendship, war, and what it means to be English. Boss! It's probably not as well known as The Red Shoes or Black Narcissus, but Powell and Pressburger ranked it as one of their best. And we wholeheartedly agree. Money lost its value, the price of everything rose, except of human beings. Number 2. A Clockwork Orange a watershed moment for mainstream cinema, A Clockwork Orange is, at its core, a very British film. The Durango 95 purred away real horror show. A nice, warm, vibratory feeling all through your gutty woods. True director Stanley Kubrick was American, but by 71 he was working exclusively in Britain, also going on to make one of the UK's finest period dramas in Barry Lyndon. But Clockwork Orange gives a grotesque and unique focus to violence, freedom and control, which, though it was banned for decades, brought a brand new emphasis and direction to film. A wide-ranging rule-breaker, it forced international conversations on censorship and the relationship between crime, psychology and the media. I've taught you much, my little druggies. Now tell me what you had in mind, Georgie boy. Number 1. The Third Man What's the purpose of your visit here? A friend of mine offered me a job here. Universally recognised as a definitive film in its genre, The Third Man is the epitome of film noir. Honest, sensible, sober, harmless Holly Martins. Holly. What a silly name. Written by Graham Greene, one of the most English authors of the 20th century, and directed by Carol Reed, it stars Orson Welles in one of his most memorable and menacing performances. In Switzerland, they had brotherly love. They had 500 years of democracy and peace, and what did that produce? The cuckoo clock. Set in post-World War II Vienna, the third man sports an expressionist black and white look which would go on to inspire generations of film noir cinematographers as well as countless contemporary classics. He's the man I told you was missing. Next time we'll have a foolproof coffin. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.